Hello, my name is Tarek, and in today's lecture, we will implement the infix form uh, of an expression into the postfix form. In the last lecture, we discussed the algorithm to convert an infix expression into an postfix expression, and we saw how what steps we need to take to convert this uh, to convert the infix. Uh, expression into the postfix one. In today's lecture, we will implement this and uh, via code, and I'll show you how we can do this. So let's uh, first uh, let's recap uh, what we did in the last uh, lecture to uh, give you a refresher. Here we have an an infix expression, and we have a stack, and we have a postfix string. Sorry. Uh, so we need to convert this into the postfix form so let's uh, do it once again and let me show you how we can do this very quickly and then we will move to the code now we have operands uh, like these numbers 2 3 4 2 4 these are op uh, operands and we have operators uh, these are multiplication this is a multiplication operator we have plus operator minus and divide and exponentiation operator also uh, but we are not using that uh, so just for the sake of simplicity so and these uh, the whole expression will be we can say these are different tokens 2 is also a token this this operator is also a token 3 is a token plus is a token this these all are tokens and we will work on the basis of tokens so uh, in the first let, let me uh, take a pointer here so when we will uh, evaluate this expression we will try to convert this into a postfix form uh, we will take the token one by one and then we will implement our logic so if we have a operand like we have, like the, like the, we have a two if we have a operand we will add this operand we will append this operand into the resultant string or we can say into the postfix string so now the first token is 2 so we will add this token into the postfix string like 2 right now we will move to the next op uh, token the next token is the multiplication operator we will push the operators into the stack as per the algorithm that we saw in the last lecture now let's let's put it into this stack now we have a this static sign is used for multiplication i hope you know this right now let's move to the next token and uh, next token is 3 and we will add this here 3 now the next token is plus now in this case uh, what we will do we will push that into, into the stack but here we need to take care of one thing which is the precedence uh, rule we know we saw that uh, multiplication and division has high precedence. The highest precedence is of uh, exponentiation, then multiplication and division, and in the last, the precedence, uh, the last precedence is of minus and plus. So uh, we will we will push this into the stack, but because the uh, multiplication operator is already there, we cannot push that on the top of the multiplication because multiplication has higher precedence so we will pop this out and we will append this into the resultant postfix string right and this will this has been popped out so it is gone from here and now we will push plus right now the next token is uh, the curly bracket the opening bracket we will push that bracket here in on the top of the stack and the bracket is now here now we have operator 4 we will add that 4 here into, into the postfix string now we have a plus uh, uh, operator so this token will be pushed into the stack right because now here we have because there is no need to compare because on the top of the stack is the bracket so whatever the operator will be that will be pushed into the stack now we have 2 
we push that we push that into this postfix string and now the closing bracket when whenever we will uh, see or encounter the closing bracket we will push all the operators out from this stack be, uh, on the basis of the uh, com comparison right so uh, we must have pushed that using the precedence rules keeping in mind so we will pop this plus because it's the closing bracket now so we will pop the operator we will pop the plus and that will be added here right and we will remove it from here there is no more and now because we have closing operator we will also pop the opening operator uh, sorry the opening bracket and this is gone right now we have a uh, multiplication operator now multiplication multiplication operator has higher precedence than the um, uh, addition we will simply push this into the stack like this and now we have the last uh, token which is 4 and we'll push the 4 here and then we will pop all the elements because we have uh, scanned the complete infix uh, expression and we are at the last now we will push uh, sorry we will pop all the elements from this stack and we have direct and the multiplication sign and the addition and we will pop this out there will be no uh, operator remaining in this stack so this is how we we have we uh, implement the or we convert the expression from the infix to postfix let's now code it okay here i have uh, uh, created a class and two methods just to say uh, for, for the sake of saving time these two methods are very simple this method will tell me that whatever the token i'll pass is that token is operator or not sorry is that operator is operand or not and the second one will tell me that is that operator or not right uh, let's just let me just show you what i'm doing here i am just trying to pass that into the double and then it will uh, if there will be any exception uh, that will return i'm returning false and if not then i'm returning true it's a just a uh, uh, checking that is that an operand or not and in the case of operator what i am doing is i am uh, checking that is that operator is is from one of these or not or i can also use here contains right i can use this and it will be simpler for you okay so now let's implement this and for implementing this i am trying to i'll try to use the best practices uh, we we use in our in our uh, actual uh, in our real life projects and what are the best practices of coding are i'll use those so i'm using an enum here enum operator and this enum will contain the four uh, the five operators we we use to convert the expression which is minus and here in the constructor i'll pass the number right so i'm passing one right and we have plus i hope you know uh, about enums how we work with enums if you don't then you can uh, uh, get the help from the internet or from any resource that you like <coughs> it's a very handy feature of java right now we have multiply and multiplication has higher precedence so i'm giving two here and we have divide and give two and now the exponent the exponentiation has the highest precedence so i'm giving three right okay now i'll have to uh, give the constructor and before giving the constructor let me uh, get a variable private and i call it final 
integer and that will be that will be precedence all right and now i'll declare the constructor uh, what happened why is it stuck okay so now i'll declare the constructor here is the constructor and now whatever the constructor is now as you can see is a parameterized constructor and the precedence is set to this value okay so now now i am defining a method which will give me the precedence whenever i'll pass a token or a oper operator it will give me its precedence number so i'm doing public integer get precedence and a string i'll say operator right now help what i'm saying is i'm saying is integer operator sorry operator i'm declaring a variable operator precedence let me it uh, slides at with zero and now if operator the operator that i'm getting from this parameter using this parameter dot equals if that is equal to plus right so i'm saying is operator precedence if this the value of the op operator precedence value will be equal to operator enum dot plus dot precedence so what i am saying is i am saying is if uh, the token the operator that i have, uh, that i have received is the plus then set this value this operator precedence value to to the precedence that i have given in the op, uh, you know which will be in this case 1 so if you are not getting anything right now so don't worry uh, when we will uh, start implementing the convert method Uh, that we will get this point. Else, if same thing, operator dot equals if that is equal to minus, then operator precedence equal to operator enum dot minus dot precedence. Then we will set the this variable operator precedence value, uh, whatever the value of that operator is. Now, again for the remaining two, operator operator dot equals. if that is equal to uh, multiplication then operator precedence equals to operator dot multiply dot precedence right and the last one will be else if operator dot equals that is equal to 
division operator then let me just copy this I should have did this for all but Okay, so I am saying divide, right? So this method will will give me a value using which I can determine that uh, which operator's precedence is higher, right? And then here I will return and return operator precedence, right? Okay. Now I have uh, mm, now I'll mm, now at this point we will implement the actual method which will convert our infix expression into the postfix uh, expression. And that is we will do this using convert method public string convert and here we will. We will receive or we will get an infix expression. Now, how to uh, implement this? As we saw, we use a stack. So, here I am using the Java library and I am using the Java stack. Right? You can implement your own as we did in our previous lecture. Uh, we have implemented our own stack. Uh, so, here uh, I'm using Java stack mm, so that you could get the understanding of uh, of the library that Java gives you. So I'm saying stack stack equals new stack. You must be wondering why I implemented uh, the stack uh, in my previous lectures as if the Java giving us a specialty. So the point here is uh, we must know how we can implement data structures. We should not be dependent on uh, the libraries that the uh, any programming language gives you. Because you are problem solvers and to become uh, an efficient problem solver you must know how to implement a data structure so how you can implement algorithms also. So for that you should have good understanding and you should know how to implement data structure so that's why we are implementing every data structure on our own we are not relying on um, uh, on the programming uh, languages libraries so now let's declare two strings first one will be you can say postfix postfix this is the string in which uh, we will append our uh, our result, and the second string is a space. To this space is just will be appended in the string, and uh, this will be uh, to give you an idea that uh, the the resultant string should be clear to you. Okay, now we will get an string. And we will have to break it down into tokens. So for that, I'm taking help from a string array. And I'm saying tokens, and I'll break the token based on the space, right? Right. So our so so the uh, our uh, expression should be something like this, like two space, sorry, two space plus space three space. Right, uh, multiply. So this is how this is the rule we we are following. So what I'm saying is pattern. Hmm, what I'm saying is pattern. Dot. Uh, Compile. Right. So I am using a regular expression here, and that regular expression will be based on space. Uh, if you don't know about regular expressions, so uh, search on the internet or 
see any video on regular expression uh, this you will get an idea i'm not uh, focusing here right now on regular expression because uh, that will be that's not uh, my area of focus right now so split and here we will say the n fixed expression right so what I, what i am doing is uh, i am splitting the expression based on uh, based on the, the spaces right so right okay so now i'll make a loop here for now we have tokens we have uh, separated our string or separated the infix expression based on the space and now every uh, array of uh, will con the, the elements of array will be containing the uh, the tokens right just like we saw here these are all tokens and these all will be in the arrays so on the zero index will be two on the one it will be the will be this uh, multiplication on two index will be three like this right and now what I am saying is a string right? so what I am saying is a string token tokens right and okay now I have an array which contains the infix expression and every index is containing an operator and an operand in brackets whatever the expression can uh, consists of so now what I'll do I'll check one by one is that index contains an operator or an operand or a bracket and then I'll uh, make my decisions based on that so I'm saying if is operand I'm taking help from the operand that is this token is an operand so then what you'll do you will just add that into the post bit section right we don't need to do anything uh, much here because we will just add that into the post bit string and then we are appending a space here right that space the space variable we uh, we declared okay this space is will give us a clear expression will not be very um, what to say it, it will, the, the expression uh, will be space separated and will be very uh, clear to see okay now else if uh, if the token is a bracket right if that token dot equals uh, and that is a bracket a starting bracket okay in that case what we will do we will push that into the stack stack dot push and what we will do we will push that token into the stack right okay I hope you are uh, with me right now so now again uh, else if if that token is an operator right if that token is an operator Token is an operator. Then what we will do? Uh, we will have to first check is that stack is empty or not one, and the second one will we'll have to check is the precedence of operator. 